This is Will Smart with Greenleaf Technologies. We're here at the Western Canada Farm Progress Show in Regina, and we're demonstrating our nozzles, uh, the Greenleaf uh, Technologies line of nozzles that uh, has been around since 1995. And what we'd like to show you today is the, the range of nozzles uh, that we have to offer and, and what's popular here in Western Canada. So we've been selling the nozzles since 95. We started off with the Turbo Drop nozzle. Uh, this is the current version of the Turbo Drop XL nozzle, which is kind of a medium pressure air injection nozzle designed to operate from 30 to 120 psi. And uh, it gives more of a medium to coarse droplet, so it's not as coarse as some of the, the other air induction nozzles on the market, but it'll give you a, the kind of combination of coverage, drift control, and penetration that you need for a, a wide variety of applications. Uh, what's unique about the, the TDXL nozzle is it's a two-piece nozzle. Uh, the Venturi body controls your flow rate, so this is an 03 blue Venturi body. It's got an 06 standard flat fan, extended range flat fan as a pattern tip. So by itself that would be just a standard extended range fan, conventional flat fan that, that operates in the 20 to 60 PSI range. When you put it together, now you've got the air injected uh, turbo drop air injected nozzle that runs from 30 to 120 PSI in a size 03. So, and if you, if you run that nozzle at high pressure, you're going you're gonna to maximize penetration and, uh, and velocity of the droplet down into the canopy. You can operate at low pressure if you want a little bit bigger droplet, you know, coarse droplets for roundup, uh, things where you want better drift control. And you can, you can operate this nozzle for contact chemicals like uh, your Liberty herbicides, Gramoxone, things that require excellent coverage because you, get the, uh, you still get pretty good drift control with a medium droplet, but you get the spreading effect and the coverage that you need for contact chemicals. So this nozzle has been around since 1998. It's still probably our most popular nozzle. It's got uh, the versatility of being able to be taken apart by hands with gloves on, so it's easy to clean, it's low maintenance. And uh, from this nozzle, uh, we go to the low pressure uh, air mix nozzle, which is a very popular nozzle in Western Canada. It's been around since 2001. It's been copied all around the world. This is probably the most popular air injection nozzle in the world because of its low pressure operating range. You can drop the air mix in where you're using a standard flat fan nozzle, like an XR or a turbo fan nozzle, and just use the same color, same pressure range, and you're going to have a 50 to 80 percent reduction in drift uh, with this air injection low drift nozzle. Most guys run it in that 20 to 60 psi range. You can go as high as 90 psi. Um, especially for pull type sprayers or tractor mounted sprayers where you're not changing speed and pressure as much is where we recommend the air mix. Uh, if, you're, if you are using the self propel where you change in speed and pressure a lot, we go back and recommend the turbo drop nozzles. It's got a little wider range and a little bit more versatility. From the turbo drop, uh, we evolved into a, a dual fan version of the turbo drop with the modular design. We can take the same air injection Venturi body and instead of a single fan spraying down, we could put a dual fan pattern which has a 10 degree forward spray and a 50 degree backward spray. And the, the idea behind that was when you're traveling fast in a self-propelled sprayer, it's harder to get backside coverage on a target. So by flattening out this angle and directing more flow to the backside, we improve the backside coverage, especially on vertical targets like a weed head for fungicide. Um, and the other thing we do by having the two different tip sizes in, we're making smaller droplets in the front and bigger droplets in the back so that those droplets that could get potentially caught up in the, in the swath of the sprayer uh, are bigger so they're less, less prone to getting caught into that swath. Once we put this nozzle in the field three years ago, we found out that if we alternated the nozzle, every other nozzle on the boom, now we've got four different angles of attack for the, for the target weed or the crop canopy. So we're spraying 50 degree forward, 50 degree back, 10 degree forward and 10 degree back. So you got four sprays to hit the target and it also creates a low pressure area where the small droplets are in the middle, big droplets on the outside and it sucks those small droplets down into the canopy. This nozzle has proven to be extremely versatile over the last few years. We really haven't found an application other than uh, you know fertilizers where we don't use this nozzle. We use it at low pressure for Roundup, uh, things like that. And then we bump the pressure up for fungicides, contact herbicides, where we want a little more gallonage and a little bit smaller droplets. So you can see that nozzle operating on the, on the sprayer here. And we've got them in the alternating setup so that as you look down the boom, you'll see the, the four different angles of attack. And with the smaller droplets coming down in the middle, bigger droplets on the outside. So we get a great combination of drift control, coverage, and penetration down into the canopy with that nozzle. And uh, 
And so far in three years, we haven't had any negative feedback on this nozzle. With the modular design, we can always tweak the droplet size slightly. If somebody says, well, I'd like a little bit bigger droplet than we're getting, we can change the smaller tip out for a slightly larger tip. It won't affect the flow rate because the flow is controlled back here by the Venturi, and it'll just make a little bit more pressure drop and create a slightly larger droplet size for those kind of applications where if the wind kicks up and you need a little bit better drift control. But again, this nozzle will also operate from 20 to 120 PSI. Most guys run it, I would say, from 40 to 100 PSI. And it's, uh, it gives them a lot of range in terms of pressure, application rate, and application type. So this is, this is our fastest growing nozzle type, the, the Turbo Drop Dual Fan. Uh, it tends to sell for about $14 to $15 in the market, so it's not the least expensive nozzle on the market. But because of the range of applications you can use it in, guys are getting it and using it for just about all their spraying. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.